caching opens up a world of discovery and it's not always signing the log it's getting there and it's finding it it's the journey I had no idea it's as big worldwide as it is there's 2,575,407 active geocaches worldwide. I would say that 99,000 out of 100,000 people don't know there's a slave block to be seen with your own eyes in this day and age, but it's there on a the street corner. And it, geocaching took me right to it because there's something hidden nearby. The cool thing is, is it gets you out to see places you would have never thought to go to. So even in my hometown, I have been to places I would have never been if there wasn't a geocache place there. You could pass it every day a hundred times, never know it's there unless you're a geocacher and you find it and no one else knows. It's different for different people and it depends on the caches. Like my favorites, I would probably say hiking with purpose because I like to go for the ones where we hike. You get to like go in the woods and find new stuff and climb up mountains, which I've always wanted to do. You learn a lot of things, so there's earth caches that will take you to locations to learn about the geology of that area. Regular caches are a hidden uh, package that ranges from uh, a pencil eraser size up to a five gallon bucket size. And a cacher can place a geocache in the world and then they share where its location is online. And they can put these things inside a log or under a leaf or on a branch. You really have to have good eyes and a lot of scavenging skills. There's the basic geocaching and then there's a number of other things you can do, such as trackables and meet up with other geocaching people and those kinds of things. And we actually bought a couple travel books and what they are is, they look like little dog tags uh, on a chain, and they have all the information, they have a special code on them, and what we did is we sent one out, and we attached a little doll to it, and the doll had a suitcase, and we named her Traveling Tilly, and we gave a, a little story behind it, that Traveling Tilly would like to travel the world, and please help me by taking me from cash to cash. She got about 12,000 miles, but she was in the United States except Mexico, she did go to Mexico. She was lost in 2008, and we've never heard from her since. Poor Tilly, we sure miss her. I mean, the beauty of it is everybody plays a little differently. Um, you know, some people like to just see how many they can find. They, they like to rack up numbers. Some people are about, you know, the long hikes and the scenery. Some people like the urban caching. I mean, it's everybody plays a little bit differently. And, and I think that's what makes it work, too, why so many people do it, you know, because you, you can make it whatever you want it to be, you know. Whatever it is you're looking for, you can find it in geocaching. What is one of the coolest caches you found ever? I'd say what's when we were in um, New Orleans. Yes. Is in New Orleans, Louisiana. And one of the guys who works in one of the big high-rise buildings. It would greet you, take you on the back elevator up to, to the maintenance room. He was the maintenance supervisor. Takes you up the elevator. You go on top, they show you the whole city. So he took us out on the around the whole top of the roof of this building, around the whole perimeter of it, explaining about the hurricane that, you know, had hit there. Katrina. You know, and, and, mm -hmm. and it, so it was like a personal tour on top of the cache. Mm -hmm. And you were on top of the building and you probably had, I'd say, probably the best view in all of, mm -hmm. of the town. And they, I mean, we had this great conversation with, this, with the guy about, you know, what changed during Katrina and what parts were underwater. You see the river, you see the French Quarter, you can see out towards, it's, it's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So my geocaching name is Pinky26, and I have found around 226 geocaches to date. My geocaching handle is Mizmi, and I found probably about 120. Oh, West Virginia Little Eagle, and this is my 299th cache. My geocaching name is Nicole O. I have a round 250. 
We, we have never done it before. We don't have a name yet. We don't have an account set up. Uh, we learned about it through a friend and we came today and it's, it's very interesting. We've been doing this for like two days or something. Kay Sullivan is my caching name. Um, I'm not sure how many caches I've found. It's over 5,000. I'm like 5,200, 300, something like that. I'm Stacy, also known as Cody Hello Farm, and I've currently found 5,666 as of today. I'm Leon Deal, and uh, we just recently went over 10,000 finds. We go by great caches, and we have over 15,000 finds.